as soon as you have a Vive and a PC that can run it, uh, you're in business, and that's all you need. And then again, since the publishing platforms, both Steam and Viveport, are self-publishing platforms, um, it's easier than ever to you know start with your idea, get your hardware and software that you need to create that, and then put it out and see how many people you can excite with your content. We're very flexible in how we can work with developers. It's really kind of uh, individualized program that we have there because it's based on what they need. Uh, so we talked about three key areas that we can support them at Vive Studios. One is through tech support and sort of best practices and platform optimization. So that's more on the uh, developer support side from the technical standpoint. But then we also can come in with funding and publishing services that is very important. A lot of developers have great ideas and they might be able to make their content, but, but getting it out to a wide audience as possible and a global audience maybe outside of their scope of what their team is set up to do so that's something that Vive Studios has been established to help developers get the message out and make sure people know about their great content when they create it and the final area is uh, you know is, is in uh, actual funding right so that that was a key area for developers to understand is that we can actually help fund their content uh, but we're looking at that more as an investment and so we want to help developers grow and become healthy and thrive uh, and so we think that we can do that a lot if we invest in great developers with great ideas. The Game Developer Conference did a survey of all developers you know, that, that they were in touch with uh, and it just came out in January. It was phenomenal support for Vive. So uh, they asked the question, you know, which uh, platform of VR and AR are you currently developing for? And Vive came out in first place uh, for probably the first first time in, in VR uh, market. So there were 24% of developers that said they were currently developing for Vive and that was the number one VR and AR platform. Developers should be free to build communities around their games because that's how you can get people excited about it, sharing it on social media, challenging people online. And so that's a, that's a big theme for us is that we want developers to be able to put their content on all platforms. And yes, we want them to support Vive. Yes, uh, we of course think that Vive is the best platform, but at the same time, we don't want to lock them into our garden and sort of force them to uh, eliminate a bunch of the market if they think that that's where their content can you know, have success. You just go to developer.viveport.com. Um, of course, you got to have your content developed. <laughs> so we've got that part done. But you know, so once you're ready to do that, you can go to developer.viveport.com, and you can actually upload your content right there. Um, and it has all of the steps that you need to do to you know submit it. And then we'll handle all the testing to make sure it works well on the platform. And if there's issues that we find, you know, we'll we'll get back to you and get back to the developer to make sure that those get mopped up before release. Uh, but that's you know, it's very very easy. It's a self-service platform, so you publish yourself. And uh, if you get stuck at any way along the process, we're there to help and, and figure out how to, you know, make sure that your content's awesome on Vive and that it gets out to as wide an audience as possible.